people out that he's going to be the champion? Maybe. Maybe. Right now, though, it is going to be the amazing Captain Falcon, Trevante, versus the impeccable 1UP X. These guys Diddy both, Kong. they're in that, that level of the three people who are always fighting for number one, these two in DSS. And I think that this matchup, actually, you know, it's not nearly as bad as it was a bit ago before the nerf, you know. Oh, great pivot grab. Very nice. Well-timed, and it was a good read on Trevante's part. Yeah, what's really good about Falcon is that his aerials are all so good. Like, they have really solid priority. They come out pretty quickly. And you have two reliable kill moves. Ooh. That back air is so strong. Oh, man. Already. That back air for the finish. Yeah. Somebody's watching. If you get the strong hit of back air, you're in such good shape. Up airs try to keep him juggled in the air as much as he can. Three up airs to start already. Yeah. You know, a couple months back, I learned a nice little trick about Falcon 2. Apparently, his, uh, his up tilt can drag an opponent through a platform. Oh, wow. And I, I actually learned that on this stage. Well, oh, the side B is sending the X so high right now. So high, close to death right there. The two great things about Falcon that I really like is that he's great Ooh. in the air, Ooh. and he's great at getting his opponent in the air. Like, those two things, those two things are super, super strong, you know? Real strong. And he also has, he has so much good damage. He's an extremely fast character. His grabs are amazing. I, I feel like he's an all all around well balanced character. Pretty well balanced. I think he kills like kind of crazy sometimes. Woo! But like that. When you get hit with that up air with the quickness. Too much. Trevante's Falcon, dude. So good. I actually spent it was actually a couple of weeks ago. I haven't played with Trevante in a little bit, but I think one or two weeks ago, um, me and Trevante played Falcon Diddles for like an hour. You know what? And I spend so much time cracking jokes on uh, on Trevante's Falcon, but yeah. he his Falcon is probably the one of the best I've ever seen. The When we were playing Falcon for that hour, I saw like how good a control he has over that character and how like his style of adaptation and punishing really fits well with Falcon. Like I really hope he continues to play Falcon. Um, yeah, Sean over here saying that uh, Falcon's kind of broken. I really don't believe you there. Sorry. It's all good. Yeah, uh, X is bringing it back right now. And fast, too. He's bringing it back fast. Yeah, he's getting... He's giving, more used to Trevante's Falcon here. Yeah, and he's starting to uh, starting to apply a little bit of pressure on him. But Trevante saw a little bit of space and took advantage of it. Now he's on for the oh. uh, for the pressure. He went straight for that knee. There is no fear. Trevante has some very high level of confidence when he's playing this character. Yeah. Well, probably just you know in general. That's true. Given, given Trevante's overconfident nature. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's backing it up right now. Yeah. Okay, he was definitely looking for a side B there. He was. He wanted to challenge it with the knee. Really smart. Timmy saw that. And went for the up B instead. Ooh, nice. Up air right off the uh, right off the bounce on the platform. Smart. Very smart, using the banana to stop the Falcon kick. Yeah, we're seeing a much more even game right now. Trey is... Oh! And the read... Caught. The read was real. X taking the first stock now. Can he capitalize and make the most of this? Yeah, all he needs to do now is just play it safe. Really smart there. He used the side B first to save his jump and went for the up B. It's actually a really, really safe maneuver yep. for uh, recovery there. Didn't really do much as uh, Trevante takes that first first stock off of X with back air. However, X isn't giving up too easy. No. no. I mean, Diddy doesn't have as much kill power as he did before, but he still but has he a lot of really good tricks and some decent damage. I mean, going for that back air, really, really good option. As Danner showed in a couple of his videos, uh, you do have other options that lead up to the same amount of percent. Yeah. It's just you're not going to get those super easy kills. Yeah. However, 
Diddy still has the same reaction speed that he did before the patch. Yeah, he has his, great, his great spot melee. dodges, spot dodges are practically lagless, and his rolls same. X being smart and going high there. X knows he's in a really good position right now. Falcon's yep. recovery is one of his weak points. Yeah. It's very linear, very predictable. Oh, he caught that banana. That was nice. If he had done. not caught that banana, that would have been the game right that now. That would have been. Oh man. That's technically flashing. Challenge that. <laughs> challenge that. Oh man. This is a this is a hair raising moment right now. Yeah. Both characters are in kill range. And Falcon more so than Diddy. Oh! oh there it goes. Great fair right there. Yeah, Trevante didn't have his second jump, so uh, Timmy knew that the up B had to come out there. Oh, yeah. So there we go. 1-1 one, one in a 3 out of 5 semifinal match. We got a couple of... Let's see here. What do we got going on in the chat? Eh, not much. Game three now. One and one. Yeah, we got, and okay. Trevante trying to take a lead. Yeah, starting off strong. Ooh. Okay, so going back to this stage was interesting. Um, Diddy Kong, I feel like great on this stage. Because whenever he gets a knockdown, he can get a solid, ooh, fair. Ooh, nice. Oh! Ooh. Whoa! Oh, he doesn't end up making it back. He needed to charge it just a little bit longer. But the triple fair straight into the down air looks like we're going to be moving along pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Hasn't even been a minute yet, and both characters have lost the stop. Ooh. Game three. <laughs> This is this is anybody's game now. Yeah, definitely is. Trevante really wants to end at the Ooh. great elbow. Back air. X should still be able to make it back. Ooh. Luckily, it's only a meteor, was, not a spike. That was close. Had he been at a higher percent of damage, then yeah, that would have been a that would have been done. Be. Trayvante's kind of taking it over here. He's been really good at getting stage control. Yeah, it looks like he's he's playing a little calmer than he did uh, last game. Yeah. Waited for that smash to pass through. Smart play. Nice three hit. Regular attacks there. A little gentleman there. Ooh, tried to go for a tilt, but spot dodge. Yeah, Trace playing it safe. Yeah. He's feeling out the situation with jabs, forward tilt. You see, though, these platforms are really working in his favor right now. Yeah. Ooh. I think he was trying to go for a ledge jump there. Trying to. Didn't quite get it. There's the gentleman. X is in a bad spot right now. Yeah. Ooh. That throw could have finished him there, too. That's smart to recover real, high. Real close. Right now, it's definitely either man's game for this one. Oh, back and as I say that, the Timmy back went up air. Timmy for the banana. That's 2-1 two, one. Two, in favor of Trey Monte right now. Man. Andrew. All right, dude. I'm going to let Andrew get on here because he just got off work. All right. Keep it going, Glacier. All Doing right, we'll job, do, dude. we'll do. We'll see you again. <clears throat> And as DC gets off, we are now going to be introducing Shingo for the night. Shingo, my man. Yo, Glacier, man. It's been a while. How's it going? Man? It has been a while. It's how been have really you been? It's been really good. And how are you guys viewing at home? How's it going? Uh, let me go ahead and introduce myself. This is Shingo on the mic, giving you guys uh, some of my amateur commentary. For this. Come on in, Ben, number 18. All right, so let me get let me get you uh, up to speed right now. We've got 1-Up uh, X and Trevante right now. Trevante, 
two to one over X. And it seems like uh, Javante just switched over to Sheik from Falcon. He had to go ahead and change the gears a little bit more, go for a little bit more quicker aerials and quicker game just to get in his face before Diddy Kong can really get anything going. Yeah. He has to set the offense before Diddy can set the offense himself. Yep, but for that speed, he's sacrificing his kill power. Yeah, uh, for, for that. Falcon. Yeah, but then remember, Trevante is one of those tricky dudes who can get in your face, and if you don't got your game plan set, he'll just rack up percentage without you even realizing it. Yeah. And it'll be pretty much GG. That was a very fatal error that could have got him killed with an F smash. But yep. yo, he's going to go ahead and not not fall for the death. He's just going to go try another bouncing fish. Doesn't work. But he does capitalize with that back air, though, keeping him from getting killed. Very nicely done. Smart play. Yeah. And it looks like he's using the uh, the custom sheet with the electric uh, needles. And I could, I could see why he would go for that. And the gravity uh, grenade as well. Uh, I guess it's just so, so like making Diddy a little bit more cautious going in from the from the ground. Mm -hmm. But um, because right now Diddy is like a very aerial heavy character in, in this kind of matchup. Yeah. And uh, X taking the lead right now after that uh, that back air taking a stock off of Javante. I feel like he, he for for the most part in each match that they've been playing together uh, for this set, it's like they've constantly had X set the pace, but Trevante just working around it. So it just seems like ooh, that was actually really nice, really nice. Diddy Clown being one of those characters that are really easy to gimp. So if you're not careful in how you recover on stage, that will be an early death for you. But luckily for him, he survived, but not for that one. That F smash is hitting really yep. hard. And we saw this matchup uh, on the last match between uh, between Zex and Control. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, not not Control. Um, GP. There we go. Yeah, I was seeing that. Uh, well, not on like not over here, but I was watching it on stream before I got over here. So yeah, right now, uh, making good use of those forward airs, getting rid of the banana before he even hit, actually hits the ground. Yeah. Best thing to do what, just to avoid all the banana pressure is just to get it out of the, off the stage as soon as possible. And the easiest way to do that is use a very good priority aerial to hit the banana before it actually hits Ooh. the ground. Ooh, and the side be grab, which I like to nickname the teabag. Very, very disrespectful. Give, very disrespectful. Give, give and he hits it again. Yo, he, he's giving him, he's giving him them peanuts. Though. <laughs> I'm not too sure if that was okay to say on stream, but that's fine with me. This is the showdown right now. <laughs> All right. Ooh, and okay. we're really close to the end of this match right now. We got some, if, we got some very nice footies going on. Ooh. That almost was a perfect setup. Perfect so if he, setup. If he did that any sooner, if he did that any sooner, that would have been an easy kill. Nice shield grab. Perfect. I oh, really man. like that, but then no real follow up after. What I really would have thought he would do was go for a Ooh. back throw, but that didn't and work. And X stays in this, moving into game five. Hey, man. Game five. You don't ever sleep on X, nor actually none of one up for that matter. No, I, and this is very true. The entire one up crew has a plethora, a plethora of talent in, not, the, in their ranks. Not to mention that they just got the character knowledge. So they may seem put on the fence, but they're just setting you up, thinking that you got it already in the palm of your hand, and yeah. they just take it from you. Yeah, and now we're rolling into game five now. Last game here. Uh, let's see how uh, Trevante actually makes up for that forward smash. He's got to step up his defense a little bit more. Definitely, he's got, definitely. He's got some good fundamentals, some really great fundamentals. Some yep. that not a, that many Smash uh, players actually have. Uh, that's actually a huge uh, thanks to him playing in other competitive fighters, not just Smash in general. Yeah. And it looks like right now Zex has a slight lead over him. Uh, I'm sorry, I said Zex. I apologize, everybody. X. Oh, wow. What happened there? I have no idea. I see X just shaking his head. He did not really like what just happened there. No. I think that was, I, that I was an import like error. Either. Definitely. That was an import error. But, you know, that stuff kind of happens in this game. So, bear with us. Hey. I, I really like that. That was a nice setup. He basically stopped his momentum, kept it all going. Pretty much. And just dropped down. 
reset the position. So now, now Trevante has that lead. Well, okay, so he actually, like, forced the stick to the left to avoid getting the last hit from that horse smash. Yeah. Or I like to call that... that the DI game. That Lariat. Ooh, he got hit with the Lariat. <laughs> oh, nice. He actually read his monkey flip, did a back air. Nicely done. Okay, so we've been back in the neutral position. Let's see who actually gets the upper hand here. That banana is going to be an integral part of just closing the gap. No dice, though. Nice spot dodges left and right here. Wow. But X got to be careful. If he's not careful, this would pretty much be GG. And good night, pretty much. Well, not really yet. He's not out of the woods yet. He's no, still got losers. He does. But when I say good night, I mean good night for this set. Oh, bye-bye, baby? Yep, bye-bye, baby. All right, cool. All right, so nice. Trevante definitely putting in work right now. Really, really hungry for this win. What it looks like, he's really being aggressive on him. I think X is diving a little too greedily right now. He yeah, should he not is. be taking these trades. No, definitely what should, should What he not. should really just do is just bait Sheik into going towards him. Not really pressing any buttons. Just playing it a little bit more safe. That's not safe at all. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. Travante for the win right now. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, your Buster King, Travante, wins.